Breaking news from the Attorney General of Louisiana, Jeff Landry, filed the big tech government collusion lawsuit against the Biden administration for censoring Americans for so-called misinformation. And you remember all the things, the COVID, the election, and so on. And Landry tells us, breaking, ruling in our favor, the federal judge has granted a motion to amend the complaint to add class action allegations in the big tech collusion lawsuit against Biden. So Missouri and Louisiana, they were bringing claims on behalf of their states, but now they're saying you can bring more claims because they're opened up to class action claims. So let's see what else he said. We are one step closer to enabling Americans censored by the federal government in collusion with big tech to become plaintiffs in our landmark lawsuit. Today's court action will help plaintiffs represent all Americans who were harmed by this censorship enterprise, extending beyond the states, very likely even to individuals who were specifically censored. They put out a press release. Here's what it says. Louisiana, Missouri, and five other private plaintiffs originally filed this lawsuit against Biden in May 2022, and a number of other high-ranking officials were on the list. The evidence uncovered multiple agencies were involved in this, and they discovered through court-ordered records a vast and sprawling government censorship enterprise involving social media giants that reaches the highest levels of the White House, but also demonstrates that these government officials are colluding with and pressuring social media giants to suppress disfavored speech by thousands, and if not millions, of Americans. We have a First Amendment, but they don't follow it. So Landry says we're one step closer to enabling Americans who actually got censored from filing claims. This is the order that came out. Western District of Louisiana, three pages filed in May. The judge writes, pending before this court is a motion to add class action allegations to allow everybody else to come in here and file a claim. And this motion is granted. Big loss for the Biden team. Says the states have filed suit against a total of 67 government agencies or employees alleging that they coerced or have been significantly involved in social media platforms in order to suppress free speech in violation of the First Amendment of our Constitution. They have previously filed a complaint, an amended complaint, and a second amended complaint. And they have asked to file a third amended complaint to add class action allegations, as well as adding Dr. Auchincloss, the director of the NIAID, and to drop their request for injunction against Biden. The request, of course, is opposed by the defense, who argued that the third complaint would be futile and dilatory. But here, a party, according to the rules, may amend its pleading when justice requires. And leave should be freely given according to the rules. And so the court does not find that the request is either dilatory or futile. It is not dilatory because the proposed amendment comes at a time in the litigation prior to the determination of whether a preliminary injunction should issue and prior to determination on the merits. And additionally, it was not until the end of January 23 that the parties completed the preliminary injunction related discovery and the request to amend is arguably based upon information during discovery. Now the court is not at this time making a determination of whether the case should be certified as a class action. We're not deciding on that yet but the allegations are not futile. Arguably, the allegations at least facially meet the requirement of the rules, which permits a class action for declaratory or injunctive relief where the party has acted or refused to act on grounds generally applicable to the class that would include civil rights cases. So therefore, it is ordered granting plaintiff's motion for leave to amend the complaint to add class allegations and for class certification. Signed out of Louisiana by Judge Terry Doty, United States District Judge. Interesting ruling. So 
it's not saying that a class action lawsuit is underway. It's saying that the states can amend their original claims, which as we saw were massive, large, went to a number of different agencies, also to a number of different individuals, and they can add on another claim saying, you know, there's probably a big class of people. We can probably go out there and identify big buckets of people who were censored or had their civil rights encroached upon in some way, shape, or form by the government. Could it be direct censorship? You were posting on Twitter. You said, I have a question about the thing, whatever it was, and there were a lot of them recently, and they censored you individually. Or what happens if we learn that the government said, why don't you just censor broadly all of the topics around this one issue? Could everybody who got shadow banned, everybody who got struck on YouTube for misinformation, could they be class action litigants? Could they be part of the class? The judge is saying, well, we're not there quite yet, but you can ask, you can amend your complaint to see if you can find commonality amongst the class. Do they have common claims? Can we resolve these things together? And if they can find a big bucket of those people, and there are thousands, then maybe there would be a lot more oomph behind the claim and a lot more damages to recover from the United States. We'll see. But the judge is not opining on the merits of the underlying claim at all here. Just going through the rules and saying, well, Here's how it says I should rule. When justice requires and leave should be freely given. So I have a lot of authority and discretion to make this decision, so I'll go ahead and do it. And the litigants are going to continue to be involved in this case. You know who they are. Government defendants, Joe Biden Jr., Murthy, Becerra, Fauci's on the list. We've got Mayorkas on the list. Jen Easterly, CISA, Nina Janky Jankowitz, the singing janky, says uh, Keen, Kareen Jean Pierre is also on the list. All of them been named as defendants for their involvement in censoring Americans, and they were thrilled to do it. Now, we'll see where this lawsuit goes, but we're in Louisiana, and I'm liking where this judge has taken us. We'll continue to follow.